Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel and this is a question that comes from a viewer about missing drivers and how to recognize them and what to do if there are drivers in Windows that do not are not installed where do I get them how does it work so the first thing that you'll want to check out is the device manager so you right click on your start button and you go to device manager in both Windows 10 and 11 it works and here, usually, when drivers are missing, often the device will be open. So what you'll see, for example, is an open tab with the name of the device or uh, any other information, unknown device or generic device or so on. This is often where you'll see that the drivers are missing. Now, how do you find these drivers? Where would you go? Always, when, when it's a computer that you purchased that is a general brand like HP or Dell or uh, you know, Lenovo, Acer, and so on, what you'll want to do is go on the web and go to the manufacturer website. And in the manufacturer's website, you'll have a support page that is specific to your computer. So look on the underside of your computer. There are stickers. Often there are serial numbers or models because uh, what is a little complex when you go to the man manufacturer page is your model could be, for example, a T99A, but in reality, if you look closely at the stickers on your computer, you'll see that it's T99A slash numbers, and it's much longer than that. Why? Because there are variants of the same machine that will exist, which means they look alike, but they're not exactly the same inside. So you'll need to find the correct model of your computer. There you will have the drivers available for your machine that you can download and install. So that will actually fill up what's missing in drivers. This doesn't happen as often today because today when you install Windows, a lot of the machines, the drivers are just downloaded through Windows Update automatically. But there are some drivers that might be missing. So that's the first thing. If it's a computer that you built yourself, then the components you used, that's where you'll need to get drivers. So you'll have drivers for the motherboard. You'll have drivers for the graphics adapter that you added manually. You'll have... Uh, other types of drivers depending on the, what hardware you're using. And once all of that is done, you should see that every, every section here, the uh, arrow on the left side points to the right, which means technically things are okay. Technically all the drivers are in there. The uh, other thing is there's often a general package. Many motherboards and many uh, computers have a general package that has tons of little drivers for different um, portions of your PC. Your computer might work well, might seem normal, but you might still have some tabs open saying that, well, there's something weird about storage controllers. Um, well, sometimes the packages on the manufacturer website of a computer will actually have all the drivers needed for that. So if you have missing drivers, it's important to have them installed because there are some that might not seem useful. You might have a perfectly working PC, but in reality, it controls things that might make your computer uh, give you better performance, for example, or simply blue screen because that, uh, that component is not there. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.